it's a very it's a very pious season that is going on currently and therefore it is the best time to learn therefore we let's look into something called as iaq something that appears to be very simple <laughs> something which is an introductory step can keep you hanging for a very long period of time i wish to give you one example one of the finest colleges in north india they had invited me in october and they were to go in november for nac they had prepared the ssr <laughs> the ssr is very strong the was name is very strong whatever small suggestions are to be given that was given to them no this could be done in this way this makes a, a big impact you have done the activity but this document needs to come in primarily the activity was done but sometimes you know we we miss out some important things because we are not taught how to document so those suggestions were given to them the team took it very heartily at the end of october they went for i a feeling of i a q i a q came up with queries again they filled up those queries they sent it again a second round of queries came by that time it was it in november had gone december had gone and finally when acceptance took place in january was gone so what appears to be very very simple at times is not so simple and if a query is coming to you it would mean that what you are saying number 1 it means that what you are saying is not understood by them number 2 what you are saying is not relevant to what you are talk what you wish to make a mention of number 3 the document that you are attaching is not a proper one or number 4 you are not able to understand the process now why I, have we kept this session now primarily because for some maharashtra government has declared 31 tarikh ke pehle uploading ho jana chahiye you should have filed an iaq and there have been huge number of queries that are coming with respect to iaq right from the situation that <laughs> we haven't prepared as a sir sir wo date badal sakti hai kya आप कुछ कर सकते हो क्या मैं कुछ नहीं कर सकता गवर्नमेंट का रूल है एंड देर फोर आई थॉट डेट इट वॉज अ वेरी हरीड डिसीजन दैट डेट एज गो फॉर हाउ टू फाइल आई आई क्यू एन वॉट आर दोज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एरिया दैट यू मस्ट फोकस ऑन आई आई क्यू एन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एरिया दैट यू मस्ट फोकस ऑन आई आई क्यू एन which are those areas where you should not make any mistake are the ones that we are going to talk about it's a small session your queries are welcome we also have power sir of cluster and there could be some more people of cluster with us they can also contribute later on iiqa means institutional preparedness how prepared are you for going for nac it is a way that nac checks your credibility 
क्या तुम वाकई रेडी हो ना के लिए इट कुड बी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू क्या आपके नंबर ऑफ इयर्स कंप्लीट हो चुके हैं इट कुड बी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू योर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इट कुड बी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू योर डेटा इट कुड बी रिस्पेक्ट टू विथ एनीथिंग सो आर यू रेडी फॉर इट इज द बिग थिंग दैट दे एक्सपेक्ट एंड डेयर फोर दे ट्राई टू चेक सम थिंग्स now what are those things that they ask us what are those things that we need to prepare very carefully <coughs> what are those things that we have to upload are the thing that we are going to look into this college could complete its iit in 3 months there was there was another college which came from a rural area and their iq got filled up in 3 days they had no queries <laughs> the queries were accepted there was a question or two and it was accepted and they went for the process of mac also ssr started began 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 working so you and if it's an old college if there are multiple faculties if there are multiple programs that you are offering it becomes all the more important that you provide better details every detail that you provide they are going to check it up the proof is going to come from you so let us look into what are those things that are needed after this session gets over by tomorrow i'll also be sending you a list <coughs> i'll request white coat to see to it that a mail is sent today itself i'll be giving that list to white coat a mail is sent to uh, to each one of you after this particular session gets over by tomorrow it will come because i'll prepare the list <coughs> it can be handy and it can be very easy if you are going for na if you are going for an iiqa if you have decided to go for an iiqa then in that case you need to fill up institutional information for quality assessment that is iiqa now what is it that you need number 1 you need your iisa certificate iisa certificate has iisa id but even before that something very important that i must tell you do you have your own portal for communication with nac because that is one big very big thing the other day i was talking to one of the colleges <coughs> they asked me how to fill up and what not so i sawal puch rahe the when we went half a kai i thought that i should actually ask them whether you have taken a portal to unhone kaha wo kya hota hai maine kaha aapka ye kaun sa cycle chal raha hai bole hamara dusra cycle chal raha hai maine kaha pehla cycle kab hua tha 2004 mein hua tha it is one of the big brands in mumbai <coughs> so then our team was explaining them that you need to have your own portal kaha se le wo portal so for which you need to go to nac website if you don't have a portal actually this is not the place where i should tell you how to go for how to how to go for a portal number 1 you should go for a go to the portal on the portal you should ask for uh, on the nac website you should ask for a portal there is a circle circular button on the circular <clears throat> button which you can click on and you can start approaching for the portal you will ask for a portal if you don't have one i believe everyone here has a portal but if you don't have a portal the first thing is that you have to ask for a portal you have to ask that we want a portal for which you have to your first criteria is you should have been completing at least 6 years of nac 
that is your two batches have graduated out if your two batches have graduated out then in that case you can go for mac then you will have to go for portal if it is your first cycle or it's your second cycle if you don't have a portal you'll have to fill up the basic details of your college and request for a portal they will provide you a password and they will provide you institutional login id and only after which you can then go for the next part <coughs> until and unless you have done that part completely until and unless you have your own portal you cannot go ahead with nag this is point number 1 that i wanted to tell you now you have got your portal this entire process of getting a portal normally requires 5 to 6 days <coughs> once you get a portal they have welcomed you on the portal then you have whether you are going for iiq whether you are going for uh, filling up iq or whether you are going for what or whatever the process is this is also one part of queries you have to click on the button of iiq and then you have to start uploading the basic details now what are those basic details and what is it that you need to have is what we are starting number 1 you need to have your iic certificate this is all india survey of higher education this is a organization of the government they collect the insti the institutional data every year you have to your office or your administration must be filling the iisa <coughs> report every year that report gets generated you get a certificate iisa certificate every year every year you have to fill up the previous year's data that iisa certificate has a number that number is your identity when you are filling up you have to give your iisa certificate and iisa certificate number most recent iisa certificate yani current year ka iisa certificate is to be uploaded iic filling is normally done somewhere in february then you get a certificate immediately once the data has been filled up once the data has been filled up you get the certificate you you need to upload that certificate that's an important certificate without which nothing happens so you have to give your identity you need that certificate you get a <coughs> a institutional track id after that nac will be recognizing you with that track id every time you have to communicate you have to communicate through the portal and you have, you may have to make a mention of your track id it is like a number that has been given to you so that you can you can communicate with them very comfortably primarily a portal is something like a whatsapp portal between you and your friend whatever you are talking to your friend it's absolutely private so your information remains between nac and you through a portal it does not go to any third party any communication that is being done with nac is is being done through the portal now once you have your institutional id you have to make a mention in which cycle are you now what is a cycle if you are going for the first time you may have a doubt what is a cycle nac is going to assess you after every 5 years <clears throat> you have to apply every 5 years so a cycle is of 5 years if i am saying a cycle is of 5 years that would mean <clears throat> if you are going for the first time it is the first cycle when you are going to fill up the information it is going to be of previous 5 years 
for example for example while filling up the data the previous five years would be fifth year is your previous year that is today is 22 23 20 22 23 if you are going for NAC, your five years are going to end <laughs> in 21 22 21 22 is your fifth year so preceding years would be 17 18 to 21 22 even if you had gone for your first NAC in 2004, if you are to go for NAC now, and if you are to fill up IIQA, your previous five years data must go with them. I am saying this in because of one of the colleges who did not know what is a NAC portal. They had gone for NAC in 2004. After that, they did not go for NAC. After that, they did not, they don't, they did not know what is IQAC. They did not know what is um, filling up of AQAR, that is annual quality report. Now, because government of Maharashtra has said that on before the 31st, you have to see to it that you have uploaded the IQA or you have gone for IQA, they wanted to go for it, but this gap was very big. So you need to know what is your institutional track ID. Every college, once they go for NAC, is given a track ID. So the track ID. Now in which cycle are you? Whether you are in the first cycle or in the second cycle or in the third, in the fourth. Every cycle is a five-year cycle. Then comes a very important and that happens to be college name. You will say, what is big in it? I will give you one example over here. When we were in our first NAC cycle, we wrote down the name of our colleges. Haribhai V. Desai College of Arts, Commerce and Science. Then NAC replied, that time it was LOI, letter of intent. NAC said, Aisa koi college existing nahi hai. Una kamale, we are operating since so many years. And how is it that they are saying that we are not existing? They further added, Give your name as per the UGC or your university name. What is enrolled in the university? Fir dimag mein aaya, oh, 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 they're talking about that. We have been using our name as HV Desai College of Commerce, Arts and Science. HV Desai College of Arts, Commerce and Science. We have also have been using the name as Haribhai V. Desai College of Arts, Commerce and Science. We have also been using the name set in some way and there is one more name called as Puna Gujarati Kervani Mandas Haribhai V. Desai College Haribhai V. Desai Arts, Science and Commerce College. This was our name. <laughs> Puna Gujarati Kervani Mandals. This was the first name. And then was the name of the college. We had not used Puna Gujarati Kervani Mandal. So Nak sent the letter back saying that Hanko ni malum tum kon hai. Hamare paas jo naam hai wo aisa kuch to bhi hai. So it means that what is the name given what is the name of the institution? Number one. What is the name that you have given to government of respective government or education department? Number three. What is the name that you have given to the university? 
and number four, what is your name that you have? If it is a UGC approved college, what is the name that you have given to UGC? If this is not done properly, NAC will not accept anything further. So your name, your institutional name must match up with the name that is given to your institutional name must match up with the name that is given to the university. So what university is saying is what you are saying. If it is with UGC, what UGC is saying, what university is saying, and what you are saying, all the three names need to match. If they are not matching, you first see to it that how they match. <laughs> if you don't do this, you will have to see to it that it is easiest to change your name in the university. So get that name changed out over here so that this and that name is equal. And if it is not again related to UGC, see to it that your name remains the same everywhere. I'm seeing this again and again <laughs> because if this does not happen, the, the IIP is not just processed. This takes time. So we need to know our name very well. This appears very foolish, but this is one big prime reason why IIQS get rejected. It's very common that IIQS get rejected. Then we come to something called as in which year was the date of establishment of the college. This normally we have fine. Who's the authority over there? You have to give the name of the authority. <coughs> that could be the name of the principal. Or it could be a director. Name of the authority. Then who is that person? Whether he is a principal or is a director or anything else that you need to make a mention of. Furthermore, what, so what is his designation that comes in? See to it that you give your address details in a proper way name, state, etc. Something very important, phone number. Just last week, last Sunday, not this, previous to that, one of the colleges was filling their IIQA and by an accident, it so happened that the principal's number while filling one digit was incorrect. <clears throat> one digit was incorrect. So because one digit was incorrect, when it came to the problem of paying money, they had to take a decision to wait. Because that number is given and that money is going to be deposited. So a OTP is to come. So when that OTP is to come at that time, if that number is wrong, then nothing can be done. So payment can be done, cannot be done. That day, the server had some problem, so they could not change their number. So then they went to, to the query, they filed a query saying that there is a problem with the server, we are not able to change our phone number, the, the phone number has got typed up incorrectly. So kindly <coughs> process the number and make it this number. The next day, the portal opened again they could do the changes and they could pay the money. So there can be some more small problems. If there are too many people who are operating on the portals, sometimes the portal may get handled. So you need to have time. So see to it that the portal is when if it gets hanged, if you if the data field is not being has not been checked out again, it can create problems. So <coughs> the phone number plays a big role. There is also an alternate faculty that is an IPOC coordinator's phone number that comes into picture. Besides this, something very important, you need to have a good website. You must have your own website. <coughs> I recollect out one of the colleges who was to go for NAC when they had a meeting with us 
and I was trying to find them. Could not find them. I found them on some other websites. So I asked them that your website is not to be seen. Abhi tak humne banai nahi hai. So without a website, you cannot go for night. You need to have a good, dynamic, excellently working website because a lot of data is to be uploaded later on also for Mac. Mac works, talks with you through your website. So it talks to the portal, but everything is to be put on the website. So you need a good website. In case you need any help for website, you can contact Whitecode. Whitecode is perhaps one of the finest agencies in India who knows how to prepare websites with respect to NAC. You can take their help. <laughs> now, after filling up these very basic details and after filling up the website, something very important that comes in is whether you are, who is your SRA? SRA means statutory regulatory authority. For majority of us, it is UGC. But it is quite possible that some of you may be having AICT as your authority. Or some, it could be it's a Medical Council of India, MCI. For law, there is a different statutory regulatory authority. You have to make a mention of that SRA. That is very important. Now, the next very important point that comes in is you have to provide your profile, your college profile, give the basic details. And you have one MB space. You cannot give a lot of details over there. <clears throat> now, in this particular aspect, there is one more very important aspect. That is affiliation. To whom are you affiliated? This is the most important part. To which college are you affiliated? I'm sorry, which university are you affiliated? If I say my college is affiliated to Pune universities, SPPU, Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University. Then in that case, I must have an affiliation letter. Now, if this institution is an old institution the way I have, I get a permanent affiliation letter. So, for example, the programs such as BA, BCom, that we have, or <clears throat> BBA, BCA. These programs that we got, they were, they were affiliated long back in 2010. So I got a permanent affiliation letter that says that this college is permanently affiliated to Savitri Bhai Pule Pune University. If I upload that letter, MAC will not accept it. It will accept the letter, but it will say, what is the proof that you are affiliated today? <clears throat> so affiliations are of two types. One is permanent affiliation. And second is continuing affiliation. We have to, if it's permanently affiliated, you need to give that letter first. Plus, you need to give continuing affiliation. Now, what does this continuing affiliation make a mention of? It makes a mention of all the programs that that particular institution has. It has BA, it has BCOM, it has BBA, it has BCA, it has BCS, whatever it is. It has MSc in computer science, it has MSc in environmental science, it has MSc in chemistry, it has MSc in, MSc in physics, it has my MSc in microbiology. All these MSCs have come very recently. <laughs> it is a PhD center. And this 
these programs are mentioned in continuing affiliation. Every year you have to take a continuation of affiliation from the university. These two letters need to be uploaded. While doing so, sometimes there is a problem. For example, in Varanasi University, the PhD center is with the college. <coughs> Admissions are done by the college. Teaching is done by the university. Now, Whether it is affiliated or not affiliated, some such kind of situations come into picture. That time, the principal should give it on a stamp paper and give the complete picture saying this is the case. If a necessary document is to come, take it from the university, attach it and submit it. <laughs> if this is not done, you keep on getting queries again and again. And that situation is not accepted. So therefore, you need to see to it that the basic information that is provided is provided in a right way. <clears throat> in case the college name has been changed out, then in that case, you need to give a letter you need to see to it that the university has, has also given that letter. Thus, it is the same name now that you are able to see. <coughs> there also would be a self-declaration that is going to be given by the college saying that this is our name as per the university records. Kind of an undertaking. There is one more very important thing that you need. The other data can be filled up. And that happens to be what is your IP address. That plays a very important role. What is the IP address of that particular institution? <clears throat> you need to give your IP address of that particular institution because that IP address is going to count out from where are you filling up your information. I wish to tell you one small fact with, which happened with one of the colleges. The the college had given its IP address in IIQ, it was accepted. <clears throat> then college went for SSR filling. The college filled up its SSR. Then there is something called as SSS Student Satisfaction Survey. <laughs> they went for a Student Satisfaction Survey. And they made a provision to the students saying that we have some 100 computers. If you want, and students don't have computers, if you want to fill up, come to the institute and fill it up. Maybe it was a very good gesture that was given by the college. We take it this way. They filled up the details and the next day they said that there was a, 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 a message coming from that that we will not accept your IIQA if it is filled up uh, your SSS if it is filled up on your <coughs> computers. The principal did not know this. The principal said what happened? Why are you saying this? Nayak replied saying that your IP address is being used by your students. To us, it is manipulation of student satisfaction survey. So you have given your IP address. And if you have given your IP address, students will not be answering anything replied from that IP address for night. Fill up these details on the college letterheads and then provide them. This is a very important part. If IIQA is rejected, then in that case, something very important, you get two chances. If both the chances are get rejected, you lose 25,000 rupees plus 18% of GST, which is the fee of IIQA. 
once you have filled up the IQA, you have to fill up the money. There's a portal for money. Once that money is accepted by them, which goes online, once the money is accepted, then and then your IIQA, then and then your SSR opens and you get next 45 days for filling up the SSR. When we are talking about this, <coughs> when we are talking about IIQA, we need to see to it that our SSR is ready. If SSR is not ready and if you are filling IIQA, there will be a lot of tension, stress. Because SSR filling needs a lot of minor, de finer details. And, you are, and this SSR gets counter-checked in between due to AI tools. These criteria are linked to each other. The, the questions in the criteria called as metrics are linked to each other. And they give you a fair idea, they give them a fair idea as to what is going wrong. Effectively to say, just as SSR filling is a serious exercise, IIQA filling is also a serious exercise. Keep all your documents ready <coughs> before filling the IIQA. IIQA ko lagne wale sare documents, all documents that you need for IIQA, which I made a mention of, they need to be <laughs> kept ready. They need to be made in a soft copy and then, they, they, then and then they are going to be linked up or they are going to be uploaded over there. Every document that is going to be provided by the institution must have principal signature and college seal or stamp. It needs to be authenticated by the principal. If it is not authenticated, it is not accepted. So though it appears to be a very, very small exercise, it's a very rigorous exercise that you have to understand. There is a form that you have to fill up. This form has some 32 aspects. These aspects are I will just list them out to you. Number one, <clears throat> what are you applying for? That is, you are going for accreditation or you are going for AQR filling. If you are going for accreditation, in which cycle are you? If you say it is the first cycle, then in that case, it is first cycle. If it is your second cycle, then it comes with Cycle number one is completed. What was the date when that was completed? What was the grade that you have got? Point number two is name of the college. Point number three is date of establishment. Point number four happens to be name of the head of the institution and then his designation. Whether the institution runs from its own campus or it's a hired campus. If it runs from its own campus, you need to provide a proof. If it runs from a hired campus, you need to provide a proof. What is the address of the institution? What is the state of the institution, district of the institution, city, PIN, all the details. <laughs> Fax number, mobile number, email, registered email, alternate email, all these would come in. I will suggest you and view that for NAC create a separate email, a registered email, which is going to be used. Because many a times colleges use the same email, that email is checked and is being maintained in the administrative office. The administrative office clerk does not understand the importance of this particular NAC. There could be some mails that, that are coming and we are not in a position to understand it. So keep a separate mail. See to it that it is linked to the portal. See to it that all the details are available. That becomes your registered mail ID. Then <clears throat> you have to provide one alternate faculty contact details. And you have to, for example, IQSC coordinator. Then 
after this you have their website as i made a mention website plays a very very important role there is a question if the institution has completed its 6 years that is at least two batches of graduation have been completed <clears throat> then whether it's a granting aid college or it is an affiliated or it's a granting aid college or it's a private college or a self financed unit then what is the kind of affiliation whether it's an affiliated college it's a standalone institution furthermore what is the name of the affiliating university for which you have to give the affiliation letter as i made a mention of many private colleges are not registered with ugc but they are registered with the un with the university if the college is registered with the with ugc you have to give those details also that is 12b and 2f details furthermore if the institution is an autonomous institution you have to give the details of autonomy if the institution has is has gone for a status called as cpe college for potential excellence then in that case you need to provide those details also dekho kya kya details are hai. then what are the uh, you know whether there are any other programs offered by the statutory regulatory authorities no furthermore you may have some diploma programs for example you may give those details you don't have to give any further details of it for example how many students are there or something like that <clears throat> then further more that you are able to see how many programs are being offered if you program means ba bcom bsc bba bca ms msc law whatever it is they are called as the programs उसमें से अंडर ग्रेजुएट प्रोग्राम्स कितने हैं पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट प्रोग्राम्स कितने देन यू आर एबल टू सी टू गिव द डिटेल्स ऑफ ऑल दैट यू हैव टू गिव द लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द प्रोग्राम्स एंड व्हाट इज द एफिलिएशन स्टेटस वेदर इट इज परमानेंटली एफिलिएटेड इट इज टेम्पररी एफिलिएटेड उस प्रोग्राम के बारे में न्यू प्रोग्राम्स आर नॉट परमानेंटली एफिलिएटेड ओल्ड प्रोग्राम्स आर परमानेंटली एफिलिएटेड सो टू विच यूनिवर्सिटी दे आर एफिलिएटेड दैट यू नीड टू गिव and you need to upload that document furthermore how much of teaching staff is present with you details how many are male how many are female how many are transgenders what is the total number that you are able to see how many non teaching staff members do you have that detail you need to provide <clears throat> and how many students are on the roll male students female students transgenders total something very important that i must make a mention in in key meeting minutes aapke paas hone chahiye you need to have the minute meetings whether you have a committee for scst the answer has to be yes if you have it see to it that you have prepared the minutes of the meeting regularly so at least four meetings in a year second do you have a grievance redressal committee answer has to be yes this is the second committee that you need whether it is functional yes it is functional you have to show the minutes of the meetings then whether you have an internal complaints committee which is for women icc whether it is formed as per the guidelines of the government that needs to be there you have to give an answer that whether these committees are present whether you have an anti ragging cell it has to be yes and whether an obc cell is present it has to be yes so you will be making a mention of at least these five committees SCST committee, grievance redressal committee, internal complaints committee, anti-ragging committee, and <coughs> OBC cell committee. 
then comes accuracy whether you are in the first cycle or in the second cycle please make a mention that you have an accuracy and if it is an accuracy when was that accuracy established date of establishment of accuracy comes in picture now what is the proof that it was established on that day get it okayed from the apex committee for example in maharashtra it is cdc so in the minutes of cdc you can have that it will reflect that the iq has been formed on 27th of march 2023 if it is a first time if it's an old iqc you don't need to but this becomes a legal document for you in case anybody challenges it you can say that it is reflecting in the minutes keep in mind iqc is a very important committee so you need to see to it that the iqc committee reflects out so date of formation of iqc plays a very important role then comes very important thing minutes of iqc meeting and action taken report to be uploaded on the institutional website this is a very important part whether you are going for the first cycle or you are going for the further cycles <clears throat> prepare minutes of meetings tell you have an iqc if you say you don't have an iqc then it costs you later on so it is always better even in the first cycle to say that you have an iqc every year show two meeting four meetings a year so that you can and you have to <laughs> write down the main meeting minutes of the meeting and action taken report you all know when we talk of a meeting the first step is a notice notice is followed by agenda agenda is followed by the meeting takes place and minutes of the meeting come up and whatever has been minuted that is has been decided it is worked out so action taken comes into picture so these are the four steps sometimes you also find a compliance report that is a fifth one or a resolution that is a fifth one always when i used to conduct these meetings i always suggest don't take too many points on the agenda don't take more than 3 or 4 points on the agenda compliance is showing the compliance is really becomes very difficult instead you can have multiple meetings second part is meetings get over very quickly and you can always tell people that you know talk to the point so meetings become effective and effectiveness of the meeting is an indication of a good institution so you are able to see when we are talking about aqrs we need i'm say when we are talking about iqsc we need to show those meetings that is very important okay <clears throat> so all those meetings that have taken place you need to showcase it they are to be put on the website of the college and the link of that website is to be put up over here in this particular iiq then comes in case it is a second cycle or third cycle or fourth cycle there are aqrs <laughs> annual quality reports if you are in the first cycle you don't have to do anything if you are in the second third or the fourth cycle every year you have to send an aqr you have sent an aqr that aqr is going to be on your web college website you have to create that link of that website on which date was that document sent to nac you have to put that date so for example four aqrs have been uploaded the first aqr was sent on 14th of september 2017 the second was sent on 4th of november 10 2019 18 the fifth the third one was sent on 23rd of september 2000 let us say 19 and whatever that date is so those four aqrs they need to be sent if they are not sent iiq will not get processed 
Furthermore, you need to see to it that who is your statutory. They has the institution made a statutory uh, declaration about RTI. आपके वेबसाइट के ऊपर RTI होना चाहिए. There is a separate tab for RTI. Whether the institution has a mechanism for RTI, as per the Act of 2005, you need to give that. You have to say, yes, we have the provision. So you need to see to it that the necessary, in case any RT, it is present, the minutes of the meeting or the constitution of RTI, all that needs to be done and kept on the website. There has to be a committee for RTI. It is quite possible you may not have received any RTIs, but you have to have a committee and that link needs to be given on the <laughs> IIQA. Furthermore, are there any, this is one more, the 29th aspect makes a mention, are there any foreign MOUs? Have you done any MOU with any foreign institution? If yes, you need to, if it is a yes, you need to make a mention with whom? Then in that case, you have to give the links of that. Have you uploaded the ISHA report? You have to give that report. And on what date has it been uploaded? Then you are able to see, <clears throat> you have to give a certification by the head of the institution that you are complying with all the rules of AICT or UGC or whichever statutory body that you have. That that document on the letterhead needs to come in. These are 31 points. And the 32nd point happens to be the fee. Whether you have paid the fee, you have to pay the fee, you have to give the receipt number, you have to give the transaction ID, you have to give the date of transaction, you have to give the amount of transaction, you have to give the bank details, and what is the status that they have received the money or not. These are the basics of this particular IIQA. It's a long list. You'll, you'll be getting the list for sure. Now, once the fee is paid and once they accept that they have received the fee, then and then SSR opens. In one of the cases, the fee was paid, the fee was received, but they could not track it. And so, one more day went in between, only after which the SSR opened up. So, these are some of the areas that you are able to see. I am preparing a small list of it. I will be sending it to white code and I'll request White Court to send a mail to all of you so that you receive it today itself or at the latest by tomorrow morning. Now your questions are ready. In case there are any questions in the chat, they are already being answered by Power Sir and Shankar Sir. So the authorities are already over here. I'll request Shankar sir and Power sir also to join me. We can answer the questions in case there are any. <clears throat> any questions? Good, good evening, sir. This side, uh, Quinta Sanvi from Manipal Nanavati Women's College. Yes. And, uh, good to hear you, sir. Uh, after a long time, uh, we are in process of filling up our IIQA, and we finish uh, almost every aspect which you explained earlier. Also, I have attended your many workshops, uh, sir. So where I am getting stuck is uh, there is the detail that comes for payment. So there, they have asked you to fill up the bank detail, which we did uh, the bank detail and all. Yeah. And after that, uh, the screenshot that I'm getting it, 
it shows a principal's status and IQAC status as pending. Okay. And uh, uh, after that, how to make payment? Is that Have that you to... filled up the details of the principal? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of course. In the QC coordinator. Yes, of course, sir. Of course, sir. Because if you, there is one more thing. If this yeah. happens, post a query to them. I have done, sir. I have done that. I am waiting for that reply. And okay. one more question I had. There is one thing what happens is sometimes the portal gets hung up. Huh. So okay. they are not able to see what you have filled. Right. Okay. So, you know, they are able to see everything, but they are not able to see that component. So then in that case, you can always tell them that we have filled up. Uh, yes. But we are receiving this uh, kind of a query. So kindly mm, look into it. <laughs> Yes, sir, that, that I did. And the second, yeah, the second question is, there is one, this thing comes wherein you are agreeing it to the thing that whatever data you have filled up, according to your best knowledge is right. Yeah. After that, the payments uh, method will come or before that, because I'm not getting the payment method anywhere, sir, where a direct, uh, you know, credit card or debit card. Your payment method is not coming because they have your uh, principal's address and principal's number is not getting accepted. Acha. Once that get accepted, it will come. See what is going to happen when you hmm. pay the um, there. It will come with a number now. Hmm. So it normally when you pay it out, it comes with a when you are going hmm. to pay it comes with an OTP. Huh. Yes. Wo, agar pe unko number nahi hai, to fir wo OTP kaise generate ho? No, no, no. They, 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 they try to pay through a DD. Pardon, sir. I okay. said, see, DD is not accepted. So no, DD is not DD. accepted. No, no. Yeah. The DD details we could not fill up. We could fill up only account detail. And we got the OTP, sir. We also filled up the OTP. Hmm. But, but it is not showing the payment method wherein I, we can go for debit card. I had a warning paper, <laughs> sir, initially. We had prepared hmm. DD. And he said, okay, DD will want No, go. just one thing. Hmm. Until and unless your form is filled in full, yeah. So there are two things. Hmm. One is whether check whether all these uh, points that we have made a mention that is 32, 30, 31 points have been filled. Yes. This is one yes. thing. You yes. check it from your side. This is one. Okay. Thing. okay. I don't say that you you have not checked it, but you check it once again. Yes, something sir. small may have remained. Up. This is okay. Hmm. Second part is that. Post a query on their portal saying that if they are not, they are making a mention saying that they are not able to see the principal's address. So mm -hmm. then this post a query saying that we have filled up all the details. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. We request you to please check, let them check the portal from that side. Okay, sir. Hmm. And in okay, case they, because in case there is just yes, just day before yesterday or last week, hmm. because the phone number was incorrect, they could not pay the money. Oh, okay. So something has something gone wrong. Okay. It could be it should be done by two teams every time. Yeah. But especially for this, you have filled hmm. up. So yeah. Sometimes we tend to miss out those numbers. We we just can't see those numbers because we are doing too much of it. Right, sir. And right. the second thing is it again and just check it out physically. As it is, it's not a very big thing, but also see to it that your links are working. Because yes, it sir. also happens that sometimes our links are put up on the uh, drives. Hmm. Hmm. The drive is linked to the website. We do many things. So if data website per nahi hoga, to then in that case they their firewalls are extremely strong. They cannot see anything from the drives. Now, this form, what you are filling up is, is, is on their portal itself. So, not an issue. But sometimes when you are filling up, um, giving the proofs, not yeah. here, but elsewhere, mm -hmm. and that time on the drive, it may not be seen by them. Okay. Okay. So, just check out whether one thing, whether everything is posted on the portals, on the website only, the data is yeah. on the website. And not on the drives. Point number one. Okay. Second, second, the data that you have filled up is correct. Third, hmm. 
whether there is any uh, any particular part that the portal is the, the their portal is not working their uh, servers are not working properly so you can make them give them uh, on their on the portal itself that we have filled up all the information however you are making a mention this is the case as to what has gone wrong please check yes, sir. Yes, sir. thank you thank you thank you sir Yes, please. Anuradha ji, yes, please. Pade, sir. Yeah. Huh. Bola power, sir. Uh, madam, madam, there is a very lo <laughs> lot of rush at, uh, in the uh, NAC office. That's why for the getting reply, it need, need uh, maybe two or three weeks more. Okay, though, so we wait oh. for the reply from NAC office. Okay, sir. Oh, there is huh? one thing that you do. You post them a mail. You call huh? them at the help desk. Be yes, very sir. shameless. You are paying money. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure. Yes, sir. Now, some colleges are waiting for the no, no, reply no, from NAC office. One, is, one, month, sir, one month. My one suggestion month. is that they should not wait. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. No, you sir, should call them. Mail. You should wake call. them up. You should tell them that this is the problem. I am making a my, mention. My of, that, yes, uh, yes. My no. is that don't worry about they get a reply. We also communicate uh, regarding this uh, some uh, delay. Okay, no problem at all. But uh, there is a lot of rush. Uh, you know, now a number of the colleges are uh, filling this uh, IIQA. That's why for the getting reply, it need uh, two to three weeks. Some colleges are waiting for the uh, get reply after one month. No, no, so, this is one part. Did they get a reply? But there is one more aspect also. <laughs> <clears throat> we also need to see to it. Yes, yes, that, yes. We communicate our uh, any obstacles <laughs> or difficulties. Right. Okay. okay. Yes, okay. Anuradha ji, okay. I have a question. Another more I have one to yes, add. No. Sir, sir, I have one question, sir. Yeah, Hello? please. Hello. Just one minute. Anuradha ji has raised her thing in her hand. Let's take her question. After which, Atul ji, I will my, Sir, myself, Dr. Anuradha Jagdayev from Shankara Patil Mahavidyalay, Boom, District Usmanabad. Sir, we have successfully submitted our IIQA, but some queries has raised from NAC. The first query is regarding the name of the college. So yeah. uh, when we have we have portal on NAC that we registered as Vidya Vikas Mandal Pathroots, Shankara Patil Mahavidyalay Boom. But they consider the Vidya Vikas Mandal Pathroots as a college name. But our college name is Shankara Patil Mahavidyalay Boom. And uh, as for accreditation letter, we have received. Uh, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Marathwada University, the name of the uh, institution, that is management institution, is also mentioned as Vidya Vikas Mandal Pathroots Shankara Patil so, Arts, Science, Commerce College, Boom. So, sir, uh, which uh, we have submitted all the documents on the portal. Hello? Just one Am minute. Uh, hey, uh, uh, Redmi Note 9, who is that? Please... Uh, Please uh, see to it that you you mute yourself. Mute yourself. There Hello? is some disturbance from that uh, mobile phone. Okay, mute yourself. Parties are going to your answer. Uh, uh, question asking by madam. Yeah, thank you. Now, number one uh, is sir. that <clears throat> is your college registered with UGC also? Yes, sir. It has yes. um, permanently 2F12 grant for arts and commerce. Okay, now. Yeah. What, please check what is your yeah. the name at UGC one yeah two yeah. with the uni with the university these okay. are your two strong documents yes okay sir. is this your first cycle or the second cycle and no sir third cycle is it this is your third cycle yeah also send them the certificates that you had received from yeah. them in the previous cycle. Oh, sir, we are also given undertaking regarding hmm. that the name which was mentioned by all the authorities, that is government, UGC, and uh, university. They will accept it. They will accept okay, it. Sir. That will okay. be accepted. Okay, Once sir. you have given you that, see, you have given sufficient more, proofs. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. They are yes, you have given sufficient, yeah. all the necessary proofs. And you yeah. also give you have to give an undertaking in that case. Yes, sir. They will accept yes, it. Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Next. Yes, we have. Uh, Thank you, sir. Uh, who was uh, asking a question some sometime? Uh, sir, I am. Atul, yes, please. Hmm. Uh, 
I'm Professor Atul Pradhaba from Sudhakaru Nai Institute of Pharmacy. Okay. Our uh, act certificate, uh, we, have, uh, we have completed our first cycle. Okay. We are going for second cycle. Okay. Our validity is up to November 23. November 23. Okay. So when we should go for IIQ and SSR? Ideally, start preparing uh, your your uh, SSR now. Now what? Start now preparing. I am not saying go for IIQ. I told now. you start preparing your SSR now. This is one thing. You have 20 to 23 in your hands. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> that will be, this is your fifth year currently. Yes. Right now, this is your fifth year. November 23 is going to be next year. Yes. So you start preparing for your work, SSR. And on an average, NAC suggests go for the process six months in advance. Achha. So that would mean that November, somewhere in June, actually you need to uh, uh, go for the IIQ. Okay. June, July, you should go for IIQ. That one will more be thing. July, August, September, October, November. Five months is sufficient. One, one more thing, sir. See, yes, yes. They Shankar. should be they should be ready with ninety or ninety five percent of their SSR. Yeah, Before, that's what I made a mention. See, when yeah, you start yeah. your writing down your SSR right now, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yes. No, no, sir. Shankar, sir, I also agree with you, but not only SSR. The supporting document is important. Yeah, it's 90 to 95% SSR. Document. Anything comes with a supporting document only. Yeah, yes. SSR. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. SSR uh, with supporting I document. Then your, it answer, is your question is answered. Let's go to... Atulji, is your question answered? Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you we, so we much. Will, we will start right now for <laughs> preparation. And yeah, you know, in advance for IIQ. it would be like, you know, your four years data would be completed. Uh, or the fifth year data would be in process. Once your four year data is complete, your fifth year data can be included somewhere in June or so. Make your SSR complete and then go ahead with your process. Maloji Rao, uh, Bosle, sir, yes, please. Uh, then is the, there is a question to you, sir, Pahade, sir, exclusively for Maharashtra. Will, yeah. the, uh, will the condition imposed by Maharashtra government, you see, 31st March deadline be extended? Let's pray. <laughs> Not I, I started with the month of prayers only. <laughs> <laughs> Not so, there Maharashtra is no harm in praying. No. Okay, okay. Maloji, Bosle, sir, please go ahead. Hello, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Bolo. Uh, sir, I... I, I... I am from Institute of Forensic Science, Government uh, Institute. Mm. And there are four faculty members who are on contract basis. Okay. Whether we have to include them in total teachers number. Or are are they full-time? Yes, sir. You can include them. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. They, are, they need to be full-time. Their uh, letters that are given to them, appointment letters, they should, that should include full-time. Full-time means... 10 months plus. They should be in job okay. for 10 months plus. Okay, sir. Okay. You can Thank count. You. Not an issue. Yes. Thank Next. Uh, Chaudhary, sir. Ratan Chaudhary ji. Uh, good evening, sir. <coughs> uh, sir, actually, uh, our uh, validity sir. is over. That is from okay. uh, 2000. Uh, 17, 18. Redmi note, please mute. 2020. Okay. So now uh, we are uh, on uh, filling the IIQA. Okay. One document uh, they have asked. Have you filled up the, uh, the are your four five AQRs? Have they gone? Yes, sir. Five uh, AQR uh, we have submitted. Fantastic. Uh, sir, one query is that uh, self-declaration or one certificate we have to submit uh, at the time of uh, IIQ. Yes. Uh, from the institute. In that, uh, they have mentioned uh, programs. You are uh, currently... List of programs. Uh, you are uh, uh, currently, you are organizing that uh, program and closed program. 
<clears throat> my query is that uh, we are having the uh, UG and earlier up to 2019-20 uh, master degree. After okay. that, master degree was closed. Okay. So, is it compulsory that uh, that information we have to give, or we can avoid yes, that? Yes, because once they accept the number of programs, they will start assessing you for those programs. If you don't do this now, during if they accept that you have so many programs, then in that case, when it comes to filling up the data in SSR, you will face problems. No, so those, while, the, the, those which are closed and which have been where university has accepted the closure, go with that letter, please. It's important. Uh, because uh, <clears throat> that MA Marathi was uh, closed, but uh, in uh, affiliation letter, permanent affiliation letter, it was not mentioned. No, if it is closed and in permanent affiliation letter, it may not be mentioned, but in your continuing, continuing affiliation, it is there. No? Yes, sir. Now, so your continuing affiliation is going to count the most. Continuing affiliation tells you the status, current status. Aaj kya hai. That is what it tells you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We so know continuing affiliation is going to count. Permanent affiliation, your permanent affiliation letter may be in 2009, let us say 15. But current affiliation letter is today. <clears throat> so when was it closed is what reflects in your continuing affiliation. Uh, if we are uh, sub, uh, at the time of IIQA, if we have not submitted that, that data, uh, then also we have, it will but be... But your continuing affiliation, what is it reflecting? Only um, UG. Your continuing affiliation now is reflecting UG and in your only permanent UG. affiliation also it was reflecting only UG. Yes, sir. So you do not show that the letters in between. You need the last continuing affiliation. But uh, in uh, AQR, um, uh, we have uh, given that information earlier. Where in which AQR had you given? 2017-18, 2018-19, 2019 20 Okay. Have you given it in 2021? No, sir. And then don't worry. Go ahead. So Why there will be any query. But part is part is part is part is we are uh, avoiding just, some information or not giving the... Uh, just one minute. Uh, uh, one important point, Pahade, sir. Hmm. Don't expect to see NAC to cross verify what you have submitted in uh, your AQRs. No, that's with what I'm trying to tell them. With when the data would the verification data. come? 21, 22 onwards, all your proofs have started coming up. <laughs> so, un unless they ask for it, don't give it. Keep it that way. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> the... But, uh, sir, uh, pardon, sir, I want to add something. Just one minute, uh, Pahar, sir. Uh, sir, even 22 you, onwards, all if, your if, proofs. If you not show this, uh, whatever subject we close, don't show the information regarding that uh, subject in your SSR. This That's is what I'm point. trying to tell. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm saying. If you are not going to show the subject, yes, nothing is going to come. No? Yes, yes, yes. Because of sometimes unfortunately department show the data about regarding the MA, then it is difficult. It is problematic one. At the time of the they are already saying the what what if we don't show? That's what they are saying. They will not mm. show it. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Uh, who else? There's a question. Somebody uh, Shankar sir was saying. <laughs> Ganesha Menna, please, ek tar bahar tari card nahi tar band kar barens. Lot of detractors, Ganesha. Mood them. Ganesha, please. Mute Nandarikar. Lot of disturbance. If they are not able to understand this, remove them from the team. Thank you.
Pratik, please uh, remove him from the team. Yes, sir. I will remove him. For a very long time, this is a big trouble that is coming in. Yes, please. Anyone else? Any other question? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, madam. Please. नमस्ते सर मैं डॉक्टर अजीत आवरे मेरा एक सवाल था कि जो आपने आईआईके में जो सेल्स और कमिटीज है जो कंपलसरी कहीं है ये पांच कमिटीज हैं जो होनी चाहिए कॉलेज में तो क्या कंपलसरी होनी चाहिए हमारे जब हमने आईआईके फिलअप किया उसमें सिर्फ ग्रीवरेंस रिड्रेसल कमिटी इंटरनल कंप्लेंट कमिटी और एंटी रैगिंग कमिटी ये तीन जो कमिटीज है तो उसमें हमने मैंशन किए है तो दो एस टी एस टी और ओबीसी की नहीं कर पाए नहीं की है जो हमारे पास नहीं कर दीजिए एक बात प्रिपेयर कमेटी वन थिंग ओके कीप द मिनिट्स ऑफ द कमेटी एंड एवरी एवरी इयर सिटुएटेड एटलीस्ट फोर मीटिंग दे मे रेज अ क्वेरी विदर यू हैव विदर यू हैव आईसीसी विदर यू हैव एस सी एस टी सेल कमेटी दीज आर इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टैचुटरी कमिटीज suggested by the government okay. so see to it that you prepare that committee at least for the current year you uh, take the meetings see to it that the meetings are minuted and hence for keep those minutes meetings keep it a very serious committee yes sir thank you it is important they may thank ask you a query as to why this committee is not there that time make a mention saying that we have the committee we have We could not mention it out. See to it that जो necessary minutes से कम से कम उतने तो अभी दे दो और इसको बनाओ. It's that's more important. What you're showing नहीं. You must have that committee. जी हाँ सर. मैंने minutes भी upload करने पड़ने आ पड़ेगा क्या आया क्या? हाँ minutes भी upload करने. जी सर. चौधरी सर. हाँ सर. Good evening sir. Am I audible sir? Yes please. yes sir very good evening uh, thank you very much for the fruitful session sir my question is that uh, what is to be done if the original 2f and 12b from ugc for college established in 1972 is not available with the college ask already we have UGC submitted again uh, to give it uh, is it possible sir any way they will give you what you can do is yes, find a little here and there kahin na kahin aapko koi xerox mil jayega उसमें उसका नंबर मिलेगा फोटो फोटो कॉपी इज अवेलेबल विद द कॉलेज फैंटास्टिक टेल देम दैट वी हैव लॉस्ट द ओरिजिनल वन और इट हैज इट इज नाउ टॉर्न अप इट्स नॉट अप टू द मार्क काइंडली रीड गिव अस अ न्यू कॉपी नो इज इट मैंडेटरी टू प्रोड्यूस द ओरिजिनल सर्टिफिकेट नहीं करंटली इट्स नॉट मैंडेटरी यू कैन गिव अ जेरोक्स विल कम इन बट यू आस्क फॉर अ ओरिजिनल वन ओके यू नीड टू हैव दैट इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट Yes, sir. Already it's we submitted the EQR. It's an it's a document of your existence. One thing I can add, sir, Pahadi, sir. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, they can verify their name on the website of UGC on the list of two FLB colleges. Correct. Take a print, uh, address a letter to the UGC. We have these uh, evidences, but we are going for NACRI accreditation. Kindly provide us a, a latest letter. And also, Usual, and usually, so, usually they do not reply in time. But I see this is a circumstantial evidence they can produce if they no, do not reply. Definitely, receive that's what I'm saying. That you need to see to it that in some way you get that copy, because it's quite since you made a mention, it's a hundred year old college. That letter is lost, or that letter has become very old. So it needs the letter needs to come in again. Nowadays they. and uh, they they have 12b 2f as one one letter itself exactly we will provide you not an issue okay so for college no, is like our cc which were started even before ugc was established yeah it's very true a problem <laughs> it's a problem definitely anyone else next question thank you very much sir bye sir thank you sir thank you very much we will write to them they will okay sir okay And there's one more sir, thing. Already, uh, already we have submitted agencies, the governmental agencies. At times, you have to be a little shameless. Keep on asking again and again. Okay. 
or if somebody is going to delhi sent him there also okay some some or the other work you have to literally you have done this work for some kind of grants that we wanted we were sanctioned but we could not receive it out and there was some procedural delay so when i had been to delhi for some other college that time my college requested ki zara udhar ja ke aao dekho kya hai and then we could sort it out then we got those grants also right okay sir okay sir already we have submitted the aqr from 1617 to 2021 now we are uh, means preparing the aqr of 2122 21, and simultaneously iaq fine you go ahead and any help you need you can ask the cluster we can help you out definitely yes sir yes, it is yes mentoring sir. I, it's I, not I, helping in any way it's mentoring we don't we are not consultants yes, we are mentors yes, yes sir yes sir any thank other you, question yes sinthana ji hello amma just one sinthana ji okay anyone else who has a question दूसरा प्रॉब्लम ये था कि क्लस्टर एप में हमको एंट्री नहीं मिल रही समथिंग वेंट रॉन्ग समथिंग वेंट रॉन्ग व्हाइट कोड के लोग यहाँ पर है ये देखो हम, हमारा आप नुकसान कर रहे हो देखो ये क्या कह रहे हैं मिनट मिनट अमित एंड घनश्याम आर लुकिंग एट इट दे आर ट्राइंग टू सॉर्ट इट आउट वी हैव ऑल्सो पोस्टेड ऑन दिस चार्ट दिंक टू ज्वाइन आई क्लस्टर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप प्लीज ज्वाइन इट we'll also try to get it uh, yeah there is one there. thing that we suggest you that you please come on the app yeah you will get the access white code will check it out and today itself i will tell them again see to it that the right. issue is sorted out fine okay thank you <clears throat> second part is that we are actually um what happens is the data that we are putting on uh, the telegram app is of no use to us so we want all that data to come on our own app so that that can be analyzed and then these queries can be put up as faqs so we want you to come on the app and app has more benefits than working with some other app so we so we'll see that white code works it out white code will work it out and you will get all your advantages don't worry definitely okay thank you Yes. Any other question? Good evening, sir. Yes, please. This is Dr. Sundana from V V One Year Paramal College for Women, Virudhunagar, Tamil Nadu. Okay. And thank you for all the clarifications that you have been giving. <laughs> and uh, we are applying for the fourth cycle, and uh, our validity period ends by July twenty-three. Okay. And what time is it ideal for us to submit the IAQ? Start sir? now. Right. Start now. Start now. Are you ready with your SSR? No, we are uh, going on with the preparation. You start with your try to complete major part of your SSR, and uh, and start early. That's the best way out. Because if you go in July, then you start losing on your uh, uh, accreditation status. So now it is March. So you have. it is march is over april may june and july you need to work fast if we are submitting the iaqa in the month of july will it be accepted sir no no iaqa will be accepted any time please keep in mind nac is a private organization which works under the ugc this is one thing nac will not say why you haven't sent your iiq because nac does not have that authority of saying that why you haven't sent but what is going to happen is if you don't send it 
you are going to lose your affiliation status very soon okay so okay, therefore sir. to continue with your affiliation it will be better that you go with this process at the earliest because we are trying our best itself takes some time for processing you are able to see at times it takes and since maharashtra has made it compulsory now for example a very large number of colleges are applying that would mean <laughs> that it's going to create a big problem for nac yeah yeah <laughs> so the earlier you apply the better it is pade uh, sir oh. that's why there is a rush in the nac office i actually not giving the proper query in the time <laughs> yeah very true Uh, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that uh, Maharashtra government may give some extension. But no, NAC, NAC may tell them that please don't do this. Wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It is like a uh, booking tickets to new movie on yeah, the internet. Yes. Next. <laughs> Any other question? Yes. Yes. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, sir thank you very much for the wonderful session many many doubts uh, were cleared from my side also just uh, two uh, simple queries are there uh, we have started our college in 2009 with only oh. one uh, uh, program that is bcom now in last two years we have received uh, permission for running uh, more courses more programs so oh. whether we have to upload uh, in affiliation letter our 2009 first affiliation letter or we have to get it done from the university the current uh, uh, running co uh, programs letter you have to give both the letters both one the thing letter. is yeah yeah you have two letters with you you have now a letter of permanent affiliation and you have to upload a letter of continuing affiliation letter of continuing affiliation is counted as the most important letter by nac most recent also most recent uh, we have continuous affiliation letter issued by the university but it is digital it is in the digital form because mumbai university is uh, uh, doing all the formalities now on on the portal separate take portal a print of it fine okay take a Thank screenshot you. of it if it is not getting printed it will get printed yeah it is it yeah. is get it printed uh, okay fine Understand. And then uh, thirty-five by the uh, uh, date is pencil sign and send it. No problem. Yes. And the uh, second thing is, uh, you have uh, earlier in in some uh, discussion you said that five ACRs should be completed. Huh, but just one minute. It's only four. Yeah, yeah. Just one minute. See how it is. I'll give you an example. My college is to go for NAC in the coming academic year. Hmm. Okay. Now. the current the current aqar that we are to fill the year is still not completed yes uh, are you am i right 22 yes. 23 is not over but if i am going to apply in 22 23 it would be four aqars plus one ssr yes yes but if i have completed all the five years okay then it would be five aqars and one ssr ha ah. i i also add i will add one more thing to it let let us not mix up aqrs with ssr aqr is a continuous process yes i always give an example saying that you know aqr is something like what we do everything every day and ssr is a special event a marriage so that special event takes place in once in 5 years but regular events take place every year yes whether you send an ssr or you don't send an ssr an aqr is to go that the easiest way to put up okay good evening sir yeah thank Nita you ji boli ha uh, ha uh, sir uh, uh, it was a very enlightening session lots of doubts got cleared many more doubts have come which i will definitely ask through the app uh, but this one uh, deadline that i have been hearing about 31st march 23 of maharashtra government i'm not really aware of this what deadline is this so could you please uh, let me if you are going uh, for the first cycle one 
only if you are going for the yes, first wait, wait 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 okay Hmm. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. If you have completed your six years, uh -huh. huh? Number two, uh, if you have six, completed six years but you have not gone for nine, point number one. Point number two, if you have, if your, uh, if your NAC accreditation has lapsed, and you have not gone for nine, okay. If these are the two situations, you need to go for NAC. Point number one. If you have gone for NAC, if you are continuing with your affiliate with your NAC, you don't have to go for NAC right now. For example, my college complete its NAC cycle in November 23. So I will not be going for NAC before 31st of March. Okay, got it, sir. Yeah. When did you? Thank when you. is your accreditation getting over? December twenty-three. So you don't have to go for NAC now. Okay. okay. Let the the story is over. I think so now. There. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Fine. What more? Anyone else? Shankar sir, is there any question in the chats? Uh, no. 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 There are three uh, raised hands. One from oh, Dr. I think so. They have already been answered, if I'm not wrong. Or they can ask a question. Uh, then one from Rajasri. No, she has. We have answered her question. Okay. If okay, she yes. has any other, she can ask. No? Right. Right. Uh, as my knowledge goes, there are that. That's it. Okay. And uh, there is a, a never uh, a never ending issue of. Uh, whether librarians and physical directors are counted as teaching staff? No. In yeah, Andhra, no. we do. We do under. The... No, no. In Andhra, it may be NAC does not count it. NAC has counted them because uh, the physical director is a teacher. Basically, he teach. No, I'm talking we about other librarian. We even though we are not offering physical education programs. No, no. The librarian. The, the librarian, librarian is not a teacher. Technically, technically, the librarian, as per UGC scales, uh, which are implemented, is shown as a teacher, and the unions uh, fought, and the uh, AP state government accepted. May NAC not be very specifically anywhere. made a mention. NAC has okay. made a mention that they don't count physical education. Uh, sorry, they don't count librarians as a teacher. Okay, right. Uh, Shankar said yes, librarian not counted as a teacher, but the physical director counted as a teacher because of yes, the exactly. university are kept some uh, theory, yeah, yes, uh, yes, teaching yes. related courses in that uh, syllabus. Exactly, exactly. In our university, in our Pune, uh, Saitava Pune University also kept the one course for FYB, uh, FY level. That's why they are uh, now physical director counted as a teacher. Okay. Yeah. Any other question? That's it, I think. Yeah. Ratanji, do you have any question? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, in IIQA, uh, point number 14 is there. Yeah. Is the institution recognized under the section 12B of the UGC Act? If yeah. yes, uh, date of recognition by UGC under the uh, section 12B Correct. along with latest plan develop uh, general development grant release letter but sir yeah. after uh, 2017 they have uh, ugc has not uh, given any uh, general development grants. grant no if they have not given the grants you don't you don't have to give the letter na acha agar hoga to dena hai na nahi hai to thodi dena hai it is not there from where will you be uh, sir ek maza prashna uh, je SSR भरतो आपन त्याचे से संदर्भ आता होता तो विचारों का तो please please ऐसा मतलब ये होता number of teaching and non teaching uh, position uh, in the institution ऐसा मतलब चल रहा है कि sanctioned by the UGC university or state government uh, teaching faculty में दे professor associate professor assistant professor पन आप लोग कड़े सर जे affiliated colleges हैं uh, granted the direct associate professor cha post bharat yes. okay one minute ha huh? fine uh, I'll, open... just one minute ratanji I'll, I'll tell this to others also those who may be from other states they need to get it 
even this is the same case with all the other states in aict when the college begins okay when they, whenever the college begins at that time itself they have a ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 4 that is one professor is to two associates is to four teachers that is <clears throat> lecturers this is not the case with ugc ugc says that when the college begins the teachers are inducted as the teacher matures up and he completes his let us say so many years six years five years and then then he goes and gets on those degrees so this picture changes with respect to statutory regulatory authority and UGC does not have this mechanism. So you don't be worried about this. They know it. So if you are, when you are making a mention, when you are writing down how many professors and if you don't have even one, it is absolutely okay. It will not make any impact on your grades. But in AICT, it does make an impact because in AICT, they have given clean, clear guidance, instructions. I hope I have answered your question. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, in that, they have mentioned sanction by gov state government and recruited. Uh, no, no, there is no sanction. So you will not make a mention that it is sanctioned. No. We don't have such chart. No. UGC does not have this chart. So you don't worry. They know the charts. But the question here that has been set prepared by NAC, it is a, a generic one. It is prepared for everyone. So if it's an engineering. So the data so data data to assistant professors as data come up. So I have to data. Whatever is there is to be provided. Okay. We don't have this mechanism only, so don't be worried about it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Any other question? Okay. So, shall we take a leave now? Shankar, sir? Pardon, sir. One participant asking the principal counting as a teacher. That's I giving the answer on the chat box. Principal mm -hmm. should be a teacher. Hmm? Principal is a teacher. No doubt. Yes, yes. <laughs> principal is a teacher. I give you an answer in chat box. Yeah. Pardon, sir. Yes. I am going to the seminar. Okay. I am going to the seminar. 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 I am going to go through so many. All our IQSC coordinators over here, Kanbude sir is there, we have Pawar sir over here, we have so many other who are on our cluster. They have wonderful experiences. All that's all that we can say. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is a wonderful feedback that we have received. Yes, and yes, that is a wonderful feedback because of, we do that uh, for, for purpose of the IQC coordinator. Yes, if it is uh, useful for you, it is a pleasure to us. Thank you. Okay, so can we stop for the day now? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, Power, sir, will you like to give vote of thanks? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Okay, all dear participants, uh, it is a great pleasure to us uh, giving the vote of thank of this today's session. Now, our uh, president of IPC cluster, uh, Padesar, Pius Padesar, giving the nice talk, uh, elaborate how to fill the IFQA and where we would go to the uh, submissions of IFQA. Uh, before the submission of IFQA, you still must be prepared for the SSR uh, more than the 80%. Okay, and another, I give you one small uh, uh, suggestion to all your IQC coordinator. Before start to filling the IQA, we purchase one mobile phone and one uh, scheme card. Because of uh, last week, I going to uh, one one of the college from Indapur. Uh, when we did filling the IQA, 
it is cre- uh, problem is created uh, that uh, whatever uh, that is a uh, uh, coming about the otp is going to previous uh, principle but he not able to giving that otp so it is difficult to fill the iqa for that college so i request the purchase one more sim card on the name of the principal if a principal may be changed in the next two or two month it is not difficult to that institution to fill the iqa that is a one of these uh, suggestion to i give the all iqc coordinator or principal so today's session is very fruitful to all new iqc coordinator and uh, institution going to filling the iqa so now pade sir nicely explained everything is very minute very minute and, and given the all type of the suggestions and information regarding how to fill iqa uh, by the institution so i thank to pade sir uh, uh, the iqc cluster president uh, giving this such uh, nice information to newcomer the iqc coordinators and uh, the institution it is helpful to them i also thank shankar sir it is our advisor and he is also mentor our me um, just they are giving this uh, number of the guidance regarding this uh, your things about the, regarding the assessment and accreditation so i also thanks all participants they are actively involved not only listening the about that they are asking the doubts or their queries and pade sir shankar sir uh, resolve the all the queries regarding whatever they ask about uh, regarding the iqa so i also thanks the white coat people uh, they arrange such a nice session or whatever technical difficulty arising about that they resolve it and they give me the platform to uh, arrange this session so i thanks to again that and also thanks to our today's speaker this is not last only okay today's speaker our president pius pade sir giving such a nice and uh, useful information about the uh, iqa so uh, thanks from the organizer side uh, so uh, say bye good bye pade sir yes we yeah. and uh, uh, not the goodbye. list not of goodbye. documents not will goodbye. reach you by okay, tomorrow next. okay next next uh, say so we are also waiting for you we have to arrange the next section regarding any type of the topic i hope that everybody again come and and uh, inter- uh, participate that uh, workshop okay thank you so much yes yes thank, thank you. you very much sir thank you very much one and all thank you for all thank you yes shankar sir thank you yeah pratik we can end yes. up end end up for all yes thank you pratik, all pratik uh, okay but can you get take sir. the feedback of for that participant pratik sorry feedback of today's session some no uh, sir no we don't from, have no 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 sir okay, okay. next next time we will try to take feedback yes, of yes, this sir, definitely sir hmm? yes, yes yes because yes. the feedback is very important hmm? yes yes definitely Whatever sir we will do that we organized by the iqc cluster should uh, at least over 10 uh, 10 to 90 um, 10 to 12 uh, questions are uh, given the, the feedback format okay sure sir, sir from the time decision, you can send us sir on our mail yes yes is okay no problem pratik Can you yes. share the feedback form directly Google form to the uh, participant mail and uh, uh, sir I I will ask I will ask how we can send it okay okay thank yes. you thank you good evening good night now.